It is art that tells the story. Mexico's story. It's what has hundreds lined up at El Museo Nacional de Arte. The draw is very clear. Inside, dressed up rooms with lavish ceilings. The work, surreal, really. We saw a young population interested, often mesmerized, yet this is only one corner of the canvas. An old stone road leads to Dolores Olmedo's home. She was an entrepreneur who found passion in art. Her hacienda is now a museum for everyone. She really wanted to share this with the Mexican people so they could really have access to um, education through art and culture. Her collection is expansive and you'll notice she had a fondness for self-portraits. The very famous Diego Rivera has work here, even Frida Kahlo. But there is no better a place to go see Kahlo's work than her home. She was born here, she lived here, she died here. A place called La Casa Azul, the Blue House. The garden here is preserved as she would have liked. This stoic-faced painter aimed to tell Mexico's story. And her portraits were legendary, including the one she threw a vase at when she learned the man in the picture didn't like it. A tour of her home showed brushes she used, pencils she sketched with, even the challenges she had in a sickly life. Her ashes are still kept in her home. Her wishes. Beyond the noise of a busy street, there is something hulking yet beautiful about this museum, Museo Sumaya, one of Mexico City's newest. There is something otherworldly about the inside. There are more than just sculptures here, there are dialogues. Both artists actually created a new language through sculpture. Rodan and Dali do most of the talking on the sixth floor. These multiple originals like Alice in Wonderland, The Profile of Time, even the space elephant face each other, forcing man to fill in the blanks. The three shadows are cast right in the middle, Rodin's idea of paradise, purgatory, and hell. The idea of the curatorial project was to create these dialogues on each floor of the building. The rest of the museum is rich in Mexican lore, stories of struggle, beautiful stories, and stories of how things came to be. And one of the most iconic sits alone, the thinker. This is what greets guests as they come in. But if you ask artist Leonardo Nirman, he'll tell you thinking too much doesn't help with art. It's the art who selects the person, not that the person selects the art. Nirman is well known for his paintings and sculptures, twisted steel to express nature's elements, like wind, fire, and water, all displayed in his backyard. I've been in, in this activity for more than a half a century. Doing art, it is still a hobby. And to call it work makes you a liar. He says art is about instinct. Art is also telling Mexico's story. Jobin Panicker, KC24 News.